<sighs> Still gotta go through all these. Dang. Okay. All right. Well, let's do it. Um, who's next? Let's do a uh, let's do Nobu and MHX next. I'm going to be a rock star. What? <laughs> no one's hijacking this event, too. <laughs> hey, don't just throw up a tile car like that. This, 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 isn't, this isn't that kind of event. Wait, Nobu, uh, has the endless heat finally driven you mad? Hey, wait a minute. How come it's so hot in here when it's always snowing outside? Is this some kind of freaky weather thing? No, it's because we're squatting in the room next to Chaldea's boiler. We really can't complain about how hot it is. Oh, shut up. Summer's supposed to be hot. Munch, munch, munch. And yet you're here, Vice Commander, sans code, because it's too hot. There aren't enough chill pickles in the world to cool us down. You want to talk, and you've taken off your jacket as well. Huh? No, this is just to show off the difference between a five-star like me and welfare servants. C curse you and your change of clothes. <laughs> Do you have any idea what it's like for those of us who are stuck with one outfit? Auntie, Cha-Cha wants a new outfit, too. Fear not, Cha-Cha. Your troubles in this cursed heat will all be resolved once I become a rock star. It's no use. Nobu's too far gone. I have to do something about her quickly. There it is. Tenka Fuba. Auntie's cutting, uh, corner cutting one woman's strategy to unite all Japan using military force that only His Imperial Highness understands. This is what leads to uh, Akechi's betrayal. Nobu, you need to rest. Oh, would you like some of Mr. Hijikata's chill pickles? Okita, how dare you steal my snack? Are you looking to commit seppuku? Ugh, fools, the lot of you. Very well then, I will explain uh, my, plan more, my plan in small words so even maroons like you can understand what I have in mind. Behold! What's this? A delicious event where the winner might be given something like a holy grail they can grant any wish they like? That's the kind of scam where you promise someone something and never get it, right? Chacha knows all about it. Chacha saw holy grail wars and stuff in the animes. I already know, I already know about that. And these things are never as straightforward when it comes to the Holy Grails. Even a child from Awari learns that from anime. That's not what caught my eye. Here, it's the part about the race being broadcast live with commentary. Wow, live broadcast. There'll be spectator stands and everything. Sure looks like a big event. It looks like it'll be a lot of fun. Maybe Chacho will go see it, just cuz. Listen up, I'm going to win this race. And then, when all eyes are upon me, I'm going to perform a commem commemorative concert on the spot. I just hope Elizabeth Bathory doesn't crash it. In other words, I'll put on an event by me and for me that none shall be able to avoid. The Demon King of Six Heaven 2019 Summer Festival. That is my true ambition. And inevitably, I, I, I will also sell limited edition, uh, how you pronounce that? R Rakuichi Rakuza CDs with limited edition swimsuit figurines of myself. Thus, my popularity will skyrocket, and uh, my coffers will overflow. What's this? Uh, Raku Rakuichi Rakuza means free market and open gills, and doesn't make any sense for a title for a CD? You're overthinking this. No, it's not that. I can imagine Okita figurines falling off the shelves easily enough, but who wants a stuffy old Nobu figure? Wait, did you say swimsuit? <laughs> you finally caught on, the Princess of the Manslayers Club? Behold, the figure of the Demon King, reborn for the 21st century. Return to the ashes from whence you came. I am Oda Nobunaga, the Demon King of Sixth Heaven. Well, where'd this light come from? Behold, my, daz my dazzling, fashionable new figure. I had this outfit custom made from the world's top designers to capture my Demon King... Uh, kingliness with a new casual flair perfect for summer. I have no idea how to use this weapon, but I, you gotta admit, it's freaking cool. Did you just ascend, Auntie? I thought Welfare Service couldn't do that. That doesn't seem fair. Who asked for this, anyway? Uncle no Nobukatsu? His Imperial Highness? <laughs> I, no longer, lo I no longer need to be relegated as a mere Welfare Servant. I am none other than the four-star swimsuit servant, Summer Nobu, Demon King of Six Heaven. Wait. Why aren't I a five-star swimsuit servant? Ah, uh, because that role was reserved for Nero and Saber Altar. 
Th th this can't be right. Nobu is supposed to be an unpopular servant given out at a free event as a participation award. This shouldn't even be possible. Oh, you'd be surprised how popular Nobu is. At, at least given the people I know. Now I'm sure to steal the whole summer spotlight for myself. And once I enter the race and perform my Atsumori concert, the attention will only double. Once I finish selling CDs, I'll start streaming on uh, CalTube. From there, it's only a matter of time until uh, Nobu Fever takes the music world by storm. CalTube <laughs> may as well use Facebook from Red vs. Blue. <laughs> I may even release uh, Nobu Lloyd uh, featuring my voice. Vocaloids, of course. I think I'll call it Odane Nobu. What? This is supposed to be the year where I win the Snoops competition and Okiba Fever sweeps all of Kyoto. Poor thing. You're so shocked that you're getting delirious. Why don't you take some medicine and lie down for a little while? On a different note, Auntie, I trust you have swimsuit for Cha-Cha as well? Cha-Cha wants to wear one of those micro bikinis she served so much about. They're supposed to be amazing, right? Not happening. What? Why not? I use all your gold to make this outfit. Oh! <laughs> Whoops. What? Uh, also, all of the Shinsengumi's money. What? Well, there's nothing in the rules that prohibits non Shinsengumi members from using it, right? Did you hear that, Mr. Hijikata? What's the penalty for embezzling Shinsengumi funds? Seppuku! <laughs> yep, Seppuku! All of Cha Cha's gold, Auntie? This will not please Sak Sakichi either. Not one bit. I'll burn you. I'll burn you good. Huh? Well, wait. Uh, I can't explain. Once I become a world famous Nobu star after my concert, th there might be another Guda Guda event. I in time, we might even get a new Im Imperial City Holy Grail arc. Uh, huh? That won't happen? Ever? No matter what? No more talk. To pay you back for this and for stealing my chance to finally get to be a swimsuit servant this year. You shall feel the wrath of my embezzlement seppuku strike. Chacha was planning to go on vacation to Atami with his with his Imperial Alliance's money. This is for dashing that dream. Roast Auntie Sun Castle! Th this can't be happening! Oh. Bye, Nobu. Such a shame. All they had to do was pick Summer Okina, and this could have all been averted. Farewell, Auntie. Chacha will make sure your pudding doesn't go to waste. How come you're staring at the event flyer so intently, Mr. Hijikata? It seems like there will be many servants competing in swimsuits. Fascinating. Come, Okita. We're off to spectate. There's no time to be sweating away by this boiler. This is a whole other kind of fired up for him. Phew. I thought I was done for back there. I even went through the vanishing animation and everything. At any rate, it's a pity those fools couldn't see the brilliance of my plan. And here, I was going to let w at least one of them be my driver, since I don't have a, a riding skill. I'm still going to need a driver to enter the race, though. So what do I do now? I can manage on a horse well enough, but I know nothing about cars. It's a shame, it's a shame Gora wasn't here. I imagine that he would have made a decent driver. It seems you could use my help, Demon King of the Sixth Heaven. Who said that? Who are you? <laughs> an excellent question. Hello and good day. I am the one who will kill every safe, I mean, win every race in the galaxy. I am an ultra-skilled racer you may know as Mysterious Hero in... Oh, I remember you from a couple months ago. Let's see, Mysterious uh, Ch uh, Chosokabe Hero in X, wasn't it? Or is it uh, Ryuzoji Hero in X, the fifth wheel of the four retainers? Shut up! No more Guda Guda talk, but I love Guda Guda. I mean, what were they even thinking with that sloppy entrance and that real quick lame exit? You know what? I'm just gonna say it. That whole scene felt artificial. Though I did like how Happy X Alter looked when she had that o Okono Miyaki on the way home. Of course, I had another helping of Mo Modan Yaki myself, but that isn't why I'm here. Well, I'm glad to see you enjoy my event. Now, who the hell are you anyway? After another. Are you another stray arteria running, or running around sampling food or something? No, but that does sound like a great way to spend a summer. But this time, I, I'm an entirely different version of my usual self. Take a look at this, Demon King of Sixth Heaven. What? A space driver's license with the Galactic Certification that you possess an EX rank driving skill? <laughs> I see you know your stuff. Alright, I've had enough of this question mark, question mark, question mark, so what crap. So I'm getting rid of them. 
There, that's better. Yes, it is me, the driver who will run over every safe. <coughs> I mean, the ultra skilled racer who can pilot any ship in the universe. Mysterious Racer X. Ha. <laughs> Uh, the, the, why couldn't you get an actual Racer X outfit then? Like, dude, costume dress for Mysterious Hero X in the future, Racer X from Speed Racer. That needs to be a thing. You're hired! <laughs> Hire me, you get to park anywhere you want in the universe. Receive discounts at the Universal Parking Cafeteria and... Huh? Just like that? Not even an interview? Are you sure you don't want me to prove my skills or haggle over pay like in the Magnificent Sabres? I got my resume right here if you want to take a look. My first appearance was in April. Nope, I can see the fire and, and grand ambition burning in your eyes. And I can see that nothing will stop you from fulfilling that ambition no matter what. Whoa, do you can tell I have noble ambitions? Indeed, you have an air of a true hero about you. Uh, one who would totally save Britain or something. <laughs> you got all that with just one glance? Aww. Uh, yep, and uh, I'm an excellent judge of character. Michi doesn't count. I can't believe I found someone who understands me. I can't refuse now, or my inner Artur uh, my inner Altrium could weep. Okay, Demon King of the Sixth Heaven, it's a deal. I swear to use my space hero piloting technique, honed in years of galactic travel, to win this race. And that I'll also mow down any sabers who have to be uh, on or in the general vicinity of the track. Huh? There's not that many sabers in this event? Well, you got Nero and Saber Altar, so... <laughs> sure there are. And the spectator- Ah! No! 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 Down, X! Down! I can see it now. The faces of Saber enjoying a bite of ice cream without a care in the world. Little did she realize that it is danger a dangerous drag race. There's no telling what could happen. A vehicle might tragically veer into the stands, and the catastrophe may ensue. Such horrible accidents have been known to happen in the racing world. She's starting to sound more like de She's starting to sound more demon kingish than me. Oh well. Can't be helped. Thus, Nobu, the Demon King of the Sixth Heaven, begins her journey towards rock and roll fame. Her vehicle, Galaxy Class, illegally supercharged uh, Demon King of the V6 Heaven. Her enemy, the interference of a mysterious Shinsengumi woman uh, shadowing her every move. Un unfortunate bystander, the unfortunate bystanders, saber faces. What any of this has to do with rock stardom is anyone's guess, but what the hell, let's enjoy it. Tune in next week for... Huh? You, you, you get disqualified for tagging spectators? Oh, come on! <laughs> Little do they know that their race would end in... Stop that! <laughs> okay. Uh... Hmm. I'm interested in seeing how the North America trio does things. That's what I call them, at least. Helena Summer Vacation, Part 1. Summer. Summer. The beach. Swimsuits. The summer event season is here! I've been waiting for this moment. Last year's barbecue tournament may have ended in a draw, but this year will be different. A draw? I see you still refuse to face reality. I quite handily won that tournament. Oh, so you remember our match last year, you oddball? I don't know what else I should have expected from the man who showed up at the beach wearing a swim- wearing a suit. What a truly bizarre idea that was. Well, what was in your head that could make you wear such a tight suit? Was it all that you could afford? Or did it remind you of your boyhood? Regardless, it is sad to see one so lacking in fashion sense. It almost makes me wish that I could share my all-weather suit with you. If anyone here made a foolish, bizarre choice in their manner of dress, it is you. Since you seem to have forgotten, let me refresh your memory. Our venue was on the barbecue on was a barbecue on the beach. We competed fiercely uh, to prove which one of us was a superior cook, and even as the blazing sun cooked us in turn. Of course I remember that much, you fool. I also remember how I missed my chance to try a Japanese beef. But that's my only regret. Why, you ask? Why? Because in the end, you turned pale and had to leave with Ms. Pavlovsky to nurse you back to health, all because you're, you are vegetarian. What a right fool you looked. Though I will say that you did look quite comfortable using her lap as a pillow. Some gentleman you are. Ha 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 Do you ever shut that oversized mouth of yours, you legitimous furball? That does nothing to change the fact that the victory was mine on paper. What'd you say? That does it. This year, I'll prove one irrefutable fact to you on the beach. 
I'm the king of the barbecue. Bring it on, you mangy plebeian. Glad to see them getting along so well. I can't say that it looks that way to me. But then, you may be right. They may sound upset, but it's not as though it's coming to blow... Huh. Smack. Take that! Uh-oh. Uh... Stop that! What do you two think you're doing? Just because it's summer doesn't mean anything goes. How many times do I have to tell you to use your words, not your weapons? You two should be ashamed of yourselves, quarreling like children. Is that how you behave, then... If that's how you behave, then you can take it outside. But, but don't do that to mean that it's okay to fight as long as you do it outdoors, you hear? I'm sorry. Perhaps the summer, the summer heat has gotten to me. That's more like it. What a good boy you are. I'm sorry you had to see that, and I think I'll give myself uh, some time to cool down. What a skilled mediator you are, Helena. The moment you glared at them, they turned as meek as little kittens. Kittens, huh? Is that some form of modern slang? I guess they are like a couple of cute kittens. Uh, I see you keep your cool even in the summer, Helena. Hmm, I guess I do. I guess I'm just not mentally young enough to run around with all these youngsters anymore. Compared to most servants, I lived a very long life. So, if anything, I feel like a granny. So you're a... So you're a grandmotherly girl? <laughs> I know, you, you wouldn't think, think it to look at me, but I really am an old lady. Uh-huh, sure you are. Yeah? Mentally young? You certainly do look young, though. Could it be that you still retain all your memories from when you were alive? You got it. I remember everything from my life, including my old age, as if I never died. So then your servant form is the real Helena Blavatsky from, from when you were at the end of your life? Sure is. But then how come you don't look your age? Heh, <laughs> good question. You see, don't heroes are materializing their prime? Hmm, well, yes and no. Did I never tell you that before this... Did I never tell you before that this is how I always looked? I put on my gran I put on my granny form whenever I went out in public, but in private, I usually look like this. You mean you use magecraft? Isn't that... Yep, and I'm pretty sure I was in my prime in my twilight years. I put a lot of energy into writing my book, though I was uh, frustrated that... I was frustrated almost all the time about how I couldn't manage to complete it. Oops. <laughs> Here, I've been trying to be all vague about my mental age, and now I've just come out and said it. Well, I guess the simplest thing is to say that I'm a lot older than I look. Still find it hard to believe. Huh? Really? Hmm, I see. Well, thanks. I'll take it as a compliment. Good day, everyone. I just saw Mr. Edison and Mr. Tesla hanging their heads in shame out in the hallway. I presume that once again, Madame Blavatsky had succeeded in putting... In putting a pay to, to the to one of their petty feuds, putting pay to one of the petty feuds. That's I never heard that expression before. And I can see that from the topic has turned. I can see from there the topic turned to her seemingly unflappable calm. In turn, she went on to reveal quite on her own that she is much older in mind than she is in body. Furthermore, you really are amazing, Mr. Holmes. I can't believe you picked all that up from a cursory glance. More like he heard it as he was coming in the room. That's very kind of you, Miss Carly, but I'm afraid that I merely happened to overhear your conversation. Now, <laughs> here's the problem. There's a problem? There's indeed. After all, Gabriel, you said yourself. What she claims is difficult to credit, is it not? That while she may possess calm and a grown-up demeanor, seeing her as an old woman, even if it is only in the mind, is something you cannot do. Uh, nope. And there you have it, Madame Blavatsky. He simply does not believe you. Mr. Holmes, there are some things that one should never, ever say. Helena? My, my, it seems I've truly stepped, stepped in at this time. How terribly foolish of me. Ah, would you look at that? I have urgent business far from here that I must attend to post-haste, so I leave you two to deal with Miss Blava Madame Blavatsky. Good day. Hey, get back here! Ah! Uh, he just ran away! You don't believe me? You don't believe me? You don't trust me? You don't believe me? You don't trust me? You think I'm a fake? A phony? A fraud? Is that what you think of me? 
Is that how you see me? Please calm down, Helena. I don't know why Holmes was so strangely adamant about that. But Simpai never said that he doesn't trust you. He said that he just... He, he just said that to express his surprise. I'm sorry, Helena. <laughs> Helena? She can't hear you anymore. Indeed. Don't believe me, don't trust me, fake, phony fraud. Those words remind her of a painful past. They still cut very deep indeed. Especially when spoken by those for whom she feels great affection. Poor thing. She must be flashing back to how the Society of Physical Research used to revile her when she was alive. As far as Miss Blavatsky is concerned, those words are nothing less than a curse. In Eastern times, they are akin to poking a sleeping dragon. Essentially, whenever she feels something that reminds her of, of the SPR, she is immediately overwhelmed. Uh, thank you both for explaining what's going on. Oh, so then, Helena must have already suffered from those memories when Senpai mentioned that earlier. Indeed. And then Sherlock Holmes came and dealt the final blow. He is nothing if not skilled in the art of psychological warfare. Thus, she suffered not one such blow, but two. Indeed. Uh, two is far greater than one. Is it over? Not yet. Here it comes. Uh. Ah! So that's how it is, huh? Fine. You want to call me a fraud? I'm a fraud, a magician, a conjurer. You say there's no such thing as Mahatma? Fine. I'm sure there isn't. I, I didn't say anything about Mahatma. Although this is giving me a flashback to her, uh, her interlude when Elmoy called her out on it. It's not like anyone else in the world has any idea of what I could see in here. Ah! I think she's experiencing a complete nervous breakdown. I was afraid this might happen. It's not often she becomes completely overwhelmed and breaks down, but it has happened before. She's a wonderful woman, full of pride and intelligence and abundance, but as, uh, as with any feeling person, she can only take so much. This is what generally happens when she's pushed beyond her limits. And regretfully, we uh, haven't helped matters by depending on her so much. We certainly haven't. I feel terrible for my part in this. Wait, come to think of it, where did that deep stalk the deer stalker hatless detective appear to? If he hadn't stuck his pipe where it didn't belong, this would never have happened. Yeah, you're right. This is entirely his fault. Where did uh, Sigerson slash Holmes get off to? I'll try to I'll try searching for him with my radio waves. Damn, no luck. Curse it, Holmes. He must have long since made himself scarce. Grr, then I suppose that I have no choice. You and I have seen this sad sight before. Given the circumstances, it falls to us to set matters right, much as we did once in, in life. I don't, re I don't recall cooperating with you in any prior capacity, you mangy plebeian, but for now, I will humor you and your delusions. We do indeed have no choice but to force her to, sp but to join forces to speak with her. Indeed. <clears throat> Helena. Helena. What is it? You must not get carried away. You must not let yourself become isolated. Isn't that... Yes. That's what you once told us. There are indeed things in the world that cannot be reached or seen. It is true. Not everyone can see them, nor can everyone reach them. But you don't need to bear the brunt of every criticism slung your way in silence. But you don't have to respond with anger either. Isn't that right? Besides, it pains me deeply to see you so upset, my lady. Naturally, the same goes for me as well. There's nothing more than there. We want nothing more than for you to be happy. I'm really sorry if I upset you. I don't think you have anything to apologize for, Senpai. <laughs> Good. We're almost there. Just a bit more should do it. I know that, but we've gone as far as conventional methods can take us. We need something else that can take your mind off things. Yes, you're right. What else could we... Huh? What's that poster there? Let's see. Come have fun restoring a singularity? Get ready to rev your summer engines in the Ishtar Cup. A race, huh? That's it! A race! By the way, Miss Blavatsky, now that it's summer, what do you say to taking part in a race? A race? There's nothing like a good race. Once you feel the wind blowing through your hair, you can forget all about your troubles, my lady. Indeed, there's truly nothing like a good race. Once again, I agree with you wholeheartedly. And why wouldn't you? For one thing, they make for great movies. Indeed, I'm especially partial to the Thunderdome rally. It's the best. 
<laughs> for your skin sight to cut for has your skin sight to cut off circulation to your uh, brain? Everyone knows the best kind of race is a cannonball like one. What was that? Uh, please try to stay calm, you two. You're doing so very well. <laughs> Thanks for helping me snap out of it, guys. You too, Mash and Gabriel. I should have known better than to fly off a handle like that at my age. Yeah, I'm so embarrassed. Just forget everything you saw here, okay? Will do. Thanks. Now, what's this about a race? A race, huh? Yeah, it might not hurt to do something like that for a change of pace. It might even be a good way to blow off some steam. Excellent. Agreed. Besides, summer only comes once a year, and you have to you have every right to enjoy yourself every now and then. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I'll do it. And there's no time like the present. Mahatma change. Mahatma change? Is that a Gatling gun? What do you think? I uh, try to change I try to change my class so I look more 20 so I'd have a more 21st century summer look. What? That swimsuit doesn't look 21st century to me. I didn't know we could change classes so easily. Wait, hold on. This can't be right. Oh, pay you no heed. This is just how uh, it is with these sorts of events. Not that I would expect a mage plebeian like you to know that, of course. Now, let's see. Hmm. It looks like I need a partner for this race. Oh, man. Now, what am I going to do? I already uh, have my change my class. But my uh, Kumara wheel is only big enough to carry one. The mobile lab I use as a caster, I can carry more than one person at a time, but... <laughs> Not to worry. We were the ones to suggest this race to you in the first place. Naturally, you will have our full cooperation. Precisely. There may be plenty of heroic spirits more powerful, but there are none there to prepare a custom vehicle and nearly so quickly as the two of us. I'm not so sure about that. Right then. We have no time to waste. We shall build you a support direct current Thunderdome... We shall build the supportive direct, uh, direct current Thunderdome at once. Not a bad name at all, at least for Mangy Plebeian, but I'm afraid that we should call it the support of alternating current Thunderdome. Direct current. Alternating current. What about the support of DC AC Thunderdome? Done! Great. Okay then, let's have ourselves a great race. We'll do!